this is one of my favorite places to come and just kind of be by myself. I know it's just the woods, but there's nothing particularly green or special going on here this time of year, but I wanted to share this space with you guys and take you out of the plant stores and out of my jungle and into where it all started for me, which is actual nature. So yes, hello, hi plant fam. If you are new here, thank you for clicking on this video. I appreciate you. My name is Jacqueline and today we're actually not in my jungle, we're in the woods. I came here because, well, I love it here, and we're reconnecting with where it all started, which is nature. I would not love houseplants to the extent that I do if I didn't have a deep connection with nature. It's very quiet here and I like that. You can just hear the birds. Now it's kind of dreary, it's not the best time of year, it is winter, but this is one of my favorite spots. I'm looking at a lake in front of me that I will show you clips of. Hey guys, so we're back in my car, in case you didn't notice. It's a different day, in case you also didn't notice. I filmed in the woods on Wednesday. Today's Friday. I was having a really rough day and I had posted a video on my Instagram in the morning just kind of expressing that I was having a rough morning and nothing really more than that. But I got so many sweet, sweet messages and responses that warmed my heart. Honestly, there are still so many in my DMs that I haven't responded to yet, and I'm sorry. I've just been <laughs> overwhelmed with my feelings and school, which is where I am right now in the parking lot, <laughs> and just everything. So it's it's been a lot, and I've been trying to film and not be a hot mess because, like, I'm looking at myself right now because my hair looks crazy. I don't even think I brushed it today, to be honest with you. But I wanted to refilm what I filmed in the woods because even though I liked that footage, I was like this the whole time. Like half my face was in the frame. So I figured that I would at least show you some of the clips that I did get while I was there because that is one of my favorite places in the whole entire world and it's one of those places that I tend to go when I feel like everything around me is falling apart and I really really genuinely just want to be authentic with you guys all the time. I don't want my YouTube or my Instagram to be a highlight reel of my life and my plants. Like nothing is perfect. I'm not perfect. My plants are not perfect. My Calathea has brown edges. My hair is a mess. <laughs> my main goal for that day was because you guys were so kind and I can't even handle sometimes how sweet the plant community really is. And I've been wanting to do a planting kindness project video for quite some time. I've been going back and forth with Pam about it. Like I even have tried to film this like this is the third time <laughs> so Pam over at Pam's planty things if you don't already know she has the planty kindness project which is really just spreading kindness throughout the plant community and addressing bullying and tons and tons of plant youtubers have done videos like this if you have not seen them then I highly suggest it you can click on the hashtag down below this video and it will actually take you to all of the planty kindness videos so like i said i've been going back and forth with pam about it and i'm finally doing this and really it's mostly inspired by you guys being so stinking cute 
and sweet and kind towards me and you have no idea how much it means to me, how much I appreciate and cherish all of you and how grateful I am to be part of this community. Going back to bullying, I've been blessed that I never really experienced any type of extreme bullying. I think that majority of what I experienced when I was younger was mostly your typical mean girl stuff, you know, and boys just being boys and being mean to you because they probably like you or they can't get what they want. I mean, I, I definitely got picked on. I'm weird. I'm a, I was a weird kid. I'm still a weird adult. I'm just okay with my weird now. And unfortunately, I took a lot of that really to heart and I tend to internalize things a lot and not really show my emotion outwardly. Um, basically bottle everything up until I snap. I ended up taking a lot of that out on other people. So pretty much I've been both bullied and I've been a bully. So I understand both sides of it and I understand the mindset of somebody who is being mean to you or bullying you. And I can tell you confidently that that is almost 100% of the time coming from a place of pain, a place of hurt, and not a place of anger necessarily towards you. And it's not really even about you. And that's something that I've learned as I've grown and as I've experienced life, because I am 30. In case anybody was wondering, people tend to think that I'm a lot younger than I am, which is fine. I'll take it. But when I say certain things are like, what do you mean? You're like 22. And I'm like, yes, 22 me and 30, almost 31 year old me are two different people. In my experience, I think that people that are like that who are mean to you or say hurtful things to you are just hurting themselves and... A lot of the time they just they just might need a hug I don't know honestly kids today are pretty brutal though I'm not gonna lie I used to babysit for a really long time and I would hear the most terrible stories from some of my girls like the things that kids would say to them or do to them in school and I'm like that's just not okay and I feel like the bullying almost has like gotten worse especially with the internet and that is a lot of the point of what we're getting at here is that it's so easy to say hurtful things to somebody when you're hiding behind your screen and the comfort of knowing that that person isn't going to actually come at you <laughs> so people can definitely take things to an extreme and I think that a lot of us are sensitive and that's okay and that's normal we're human and we're gonna read those things and be like wow that's really messed up like that's really hurtful I can't believe somebody would say that to me when they don't even know me but that's the point that I'm trying to make here is that they don't know you and if you're just confident in who you are and you know who you are and you know that the things that people are saying about you aren't even true then you have to question that person and you have to question where those feelings are even coming from because again they're usually issues that they have with themselves insecurities they have with themselves maybe they see something in you that they feel like they can't obtain so they feel the need to tear you down to make themselves feel better and it's not right it's sad and I feel sorry for people like that I know what it feels like to feel like that and as soon as I realized that that is what I was doing, I made an effort to be kind to people because something that Pam always says that really resonates with me is to always just be kind because you don't know what somebody is going through and a lot of those times when people are being nasty to you, they're hurting so badly and they just need a little bit of kindness. 
Sometimes people really are just jerks though too. <laughs> and you try to throw some kindness at them and they just keep on hitting you with the jerky stuff and you have to know when to give up and walk away and just know that you tried to be kind but it doesn't always resonate with everybody. And yeah, that's kind of my story when it comes to bullying. I think that I've been lucky so far too on this channel. I don't have that many people on here. I don't have a big enough audience, I think, for any of you to come at me, but I'm ready. That is by no means an invitation to come at me. <laughs> I'm just saying it took me a long time to even start a YouTube channel because I was terrified of people saying mean things to me that I couldn't handle because I wasn't ready. I wasn't secure enough in myself and I mean the way that I look too like I think we'd all be lying to ourselves if we said we didn't care how we looked and I've actually been struggling with adult acne since I was 28 so the last few years now and it took a toll on me for sure my confidence my everything really I didn't leave my house I didn't want to go anywhere I still have it. It's not as bad. I'm wearing makeup every time that I speak to you guys. Except for on my Instagram stories in the morning when I say good morning to you guys. Obviously I had just woken up. I'm not hiding anything. It's just painful for me to look at. My hair is covering most of it right now, but honestly, I don't care. I don't care. I genuinely don't care. And anything that anybody could possibly say about me, I already know about myself. I've probably already beat myself up about it enough times to not care. <laughs> you know what I mean? Is this making any sense? I'm trying really hard to genuinely be authentic with you guys as much as humanly possible. I don't want to offend anybody ever, obviously, which is why I don't curse like a sailor on my channel. But if you know me in real life, I mean, that's, yeah, I'm pretty, I'm from New York, okay? Anyway, <laughs> I'm in the Bronx right now, just saying. My family um, actually came here from Italy four generations ago, and lived in the Bronx until we moved up to where I am now, but that is a different story. The moral of this story is that bullies stink, and we all know that I want to use different words besides stink and jerk, but I'm not going to. Just know the actual words that I'm thinking. No, realistically though, guys, I am so thankful for all of you. You have no idea because even if I get two or three comments that are not so nice, all of the rest of them are so far beyond beautiful that they make my day. Just know that you guys make my day every single time you leave a comment on these videos, every single time you message me on Instagram, it makes my day so much brighter and you have no idea how bad I need that right now. I don't know what I would do without this plant community. I don't think that I would be okay right now. I mean, I'm not okay right now, honestly. Obviously, I'm trying not to talk with my hands in front of the camera and not to get emotional and I should have brought my tripod because my arm hurts trying to hold this up and not shake. But I do really love you guys so, so much and your support means everything to me. I hope that this video resonates with anyone, someone who's struggling, maybe going through something we're all going through something and it can be really hard to be vulnerable on the outside and let people know that you're struggling it's hard to ask for help there are people out there that are good and they are kind and they will support you because I am like 
living evidence and this community is proof that that is true and and I cannot wait to meet some of you and squeeze you and love you in real life honestly I, I my heart my heart there's a plane so yeah like I said we're in the Bronx right now so things got a little bit loud and I kind of went on a tangent anyway so I'm gonna end this video here if you liked it please give it a thumbs up that's a big thumb <laughs> give it a big thumbs up <laughs> And subscribe if you want to see some actual plant content. I'm sorry that this wasn't a plant video. I just wanted to keep it real with you guys. I wanted to keep on with this Plenty Kindness Project. I'm going to tag anybody and everybody in the YouTube community here. The plant tube, whatever you want to call it. Who has not done one of these videos yet because... I love watching them and this has been therapeutic for me to film it three times honestly I think that it's better that I filmed it now because of what I've been going through and just how sweet and how kind you guys are and how badly I want to protect that and maintain that and make sure that our plant community stays the way that it is and yeah so I'm gonna go and I will see you guys in the next one thank you so much for watching I love you and I appreciate you more more than you're ever gonna know